Fair warning, this is going to be a very boring video unless you're really interested in what a transformer is doing. I think this is the coolest thing that you can you can take the input voltage on one leg and then create two separate legs with it. Uh, I mean, that's that's neat. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this big giant transformer. 50 kVA, one phase. It has a lot of different inputs. Here we go. Wow. That's so cool. It looks like hundreds of steel plates. And then we have copper windings. Oh, we've got a ground on each side. They both come in from this port here and that port. They come to this ground. Looks like you can pull off at different points. And they've got a bolt through here. Is that they're making a jumper? So it looks like they're jumping from one side to the other. So that's neat. This is a piece of fiberglass being suspended off from this channel. And that piece of fiberglass then supports uh, these, I don't know, bus bar connections. They're grabbing on to the transformer at different locations and then they allow you to run the wire leads off. There's a jumper here from this guy to this guy and another jumper on the transformer itself. I was hoping that these would be labeled. Oh, there they are. There's the label, all right. Ha, cool. That helps us out. <laughs> X1, X3, H2, H1, X2, and X4. The H's are the primary. So H2 and H1. So these are primaries. So this must be the electricity coming in. So it must be coming in at a higher voltage before it then goes out. I'm looking at this coil tap arrangement. and So the four and the three are joined together. So it's gonna beep when we make continuity. So these two are connected. These two are connected. But let's make sure that the I think it's called the primary and the secondary. Let's make sure they're not connected to each other. So nothing there. So my understanding is that this would be the primary. This would be like 480 volts coming in. And then uh, this would be like 240 volts coming out. And the neutral here would be the center tap. Uh, so this would actually wind up going to ground eventually. It would get 120 at each leg and that could be then combined for the 240 uh, with the split phase. Um, that I'm not sure of. Uh. All right, I have a wire coming down uh, from the inverter and uh, let's just see what happens. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. I can hear a hum. Let me see if you guys can hear that. All right, from the inverter, we have 115.7 volts. And then on the output side, we have 57.8. Well, I think this is really cool because I've never been inside one of these transformers before. And here you have 29. Uh, volts just from our setup, uh, but if this was feeding a sub panel right now, you'd have 
120 from one leg. This one here is a neutral. Uh, so it's uh, considered off the center of the transformer. And this is one leg off one edge of the transformer. And that's one fourth the input voltage. And same thing with the other leg uh, going to the middle point. Uh, and then across the two of them, it's half the input voltage. All right, let's check out what the amp draw is. 0.28. All right, let's take 0.28 times 116 volts. So 0.28 times 116 volts is 32 and a half watts for this. Is that it has all these different taps. Like, I, I guess a tap is, is just a spot on the coil that you can connect the electricity to, or the, the, the conductors to. So it has four taps on the left and four taps on the right. Uh, so you can adjust this jumper wire to the different ones uh, to make it do different things. So I wanna see if I can adjust it uh, to take in uh, 240 volts and spit out the 120, 240 on the secondary side. Uh, so I'm going to uh, try looking into that right now. Now the primary winding is the one that's on the outside. So we've got uh, this outside coil and it's actually two layers thick. If we look inside one and two. So this is part of the primary winding and this is part of the primary winding, the outer two coils. The secondary winding is the inner two coils. Did they actually soldered it to together right here. Okay, I wanna try setting this up for a 240 volt input. And so it tells me to connect tap four, which is this one, to H1. And H1 is this right here. So I need to undo this uh, and bring it up and over. Well, that's neat. So you can actually see where maybe the electrician, he scraped off the insulation on the outside. Maybe he used some kind of grinder. It kind of looks like a grinding wheel there. So this is tap four and I connected it up here to H1. They're listed and that's because over here it says for 240, four to H1 and three to H2, that's three. So from three up here to H2. So now I'll connect the inverter back up. That is humming much louder than it was before. Drawing 8.86 amps. Yeah, so it's roughly 100 watts that it's using now in this configuration. 114 showing down here. And then let's see across both terminals. We have 114 on both outside terminals. And then to the neutral, we have 57. And then over here on this leg to the neutral, also 57. That is so cool. <laughs> so it's not as efficient as it was, I guess, in the other configuration. Uh, but now it's, 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 it's so cool. So it's each leg, L1 and L2, they're putting out half the input voltage uh, and combined they're putting out the same as the input voltage. Uh, and I just think that's, that's the coolest thing. Uh, <laughs> that you can, you can change these taps around and, and change, you know, I mean, that's, that's neat. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, the reason that I'm playing around with this is because I'm toying with the idea of maybe getting um, a European style, like an overseas style inverter that just puts out one leg at 230 or 240 volts. Uh, and with this transformer, I could then create the split phase 120, 240 uh, in this configuration. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's so neat.
Yeah. Now, is that practical? Probably not. Because, I mean, this thing's drawing 100 watts right now, just sitting here not doing anything. So to have a 100 watt load on the batteries 24 seven, probably not worth it. But it's so neat that you can do this. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below.